May the church come to order and let us please stand for our praise and worship. And our scripture this morning will be coming from the book of Philippians, chapter 2, starting at verse number 13. Again, that's Philippians chapter 2, starting at verse <coughs> number 13. And just please acknowledge by saying amen so I know that we are ready to read God's word together. Amen. amen. Again, that's Philippians chapter 2, starting at verse number 13. And we'll be reading to verse 16. Amen. Amen. And the scripture reads, For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world, holding forth the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I have not run in vain, neither labor in vain. Amen? Amen. 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 We have read Philippians chapter 2, verses 13 through 16. May the Holy Spirit give you revelation of his word. May he bring it to your remembrance in the days to come, and may he help you apply it to your life. Amen? Amen. 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 Let us bow before the, the Heavenly Father. God, we love you so much. Mm -hmm. And God, if you just reflect back on this past week, dear Heavenly Father, yes, God. the time between the last time we were here gathered in your holy sanctuary, God, there is so much that we could just say thank you thank for, you, Lord. Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. God, I stand here right now, a man with a heart full of thanksgiving because, God, you have been so good to me. Yes, yes Lord, Lord. You're faithful. God, you spared my life, God. You provided for me. You protected me. Yes. You saved my life, dear Heavenly Father. God, there are just so many things you, that I could thank you for, dear Heavenly mm -hmm. Father. God, there are so many things that we take for granted day in and day out, dear Heavenly Father. The beating in our chest, the breath in our lungs, dear Heavenly yes, Father. Lord. Seeing in our thank eyes, the Lord. hearing in our ears, dear Heavenly Father. God, we take your Holy Spirit for granted, dear Heavenly Father. But God, I say thank you for all of those things, dear Heavenly Father. God, I thank you for your Holy Spirit that resides inside of us, God that confirms your word of that uh, that says that you will never leave us mm -hmm. nor forsake us nor fail yes, us, dear Heavenly Father. Yes, God, I thank, thank you for how you have spoken to all of us throughout this week, dear Heavenly Father. God, may, there might have been some times when we didn't realize it was you that was talking or we didn't acknowledge that it was you that was talking, but God, we're grateful now that we you know. love us thank so you, much, dear Heavenly thank Father, you, that now you will know. constantly speak to us, dear Heavenly Father. You will constantly uh, 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 go forth and make the steps to guide us in the right direction, dear Heavenly Father. God, I'm grateful for your Holy Spirit, Father. Father, thank you. God, I'm grateful for the sacrifice that was made oh so many years ago by your son, Jesus Christ, God. Uh, he hung, bled, and died on that cross. He shed his blood. He paid the atonement uh, for our sins, dear Heavenly Father, to where we'd have a right relationship with you, God, to where we could even have the Holy Spirit residing in us, to where we could even call ourselves the temples of the Holy Spirit, God. God, I thank you for the redeeming work that you have done in us yes. through your son, yes, Jesus Lord. Christ, yes, and through Lord. your Holy Spirit, God. How you have changed us from who we once were to who we now are, dear Heavenly Father. That is freely mm -hmm. available to anyone. God, if we were to sit and think you. about who we once were, God, and we think about who you have made, we have yes. so much yes. to praise you and worship you for, dear Heavenly Father, you, because Lord. we are miracles thank standing you, in this place, dear Heavenly Father. Yeah. That alcohol yeah. should have took us out, dear Heavenly Father. That premarital yeah. sex, dear Heavenly yeah. Father, should have took thank us out, God. God. That marijuana, God, that cocaine, God, those drugs, God, just, just our foolishness should have took us out, God. But we are so grateful, Father, that you know the past, the present, and the future, God. And you thank knew, God, that we would surrender yeah. our lives to us, God, so you spared us and you kept oh, us through your grace Lord. and your thank mercy, dear Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. God, even in our sin, God, your word says that your Holy Spirit has come to convict the world of their sin, God. And even in our sin, Father, you are speaking to us, God. The, uh, that, 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 that voice that we used to love to say, something told me not to do this and something told me not to do that, God. It was you, God, showing your love toward us, telling us not to go into that building, not to go to that party, not to turn right down that street, dear Heavenly Father, not to take that one other drink, God, not to take that last puff, dear Heavenly Father. It was you showing us your love, God, reaching out your love towards us, turning your love in our direction while we were yet sinners, dear Heavenly Father. It was you, God. God, we take 
no credit for the fact that we are standing in this place right now alive and only, well only but we give you the praise grace. honor and glory for it dear heavenly father only god we celebrate you in this place god yes. for who you are dear heavenly father and not just for who you are but god for who you are in our lives yes, personally Lord. dear heavenly yes, father, father. Thank you. Thank you. god you have done so much for us things that we don't deserve god yes father thank you thank you thank you, thank you. god you've raised up a pastor in this in this place, God. You've raised up businessmen and women in this place, yes, God. Jesus. You've raised up families in this place, God. Mm -hmm. All these things, Father, we don't deserve, but your grace and your mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we don't deserve to be where we are right now, Father. But we're grateful. But God, we are also oh grateful. God, we are grateful for your faithfulness, dear Heavenly Father. Yes, God, most when of all, those Lord, moments when we didn't listen. Most of all, Lord, for your faithfulness. Those moments when we didn't move the way you told us to move, dear Heavenly Father. We're grateful that your faithfulness is not predicated on, on our actions, dear Heavenly Father. God, it doesn't give us a license to do the wrong thing. That's but right. God, we are grateful, Father, that you don't switch up when we switch up. Hey, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God, we're grateful, Father. See, God, that's what sets the, the body of Christ apart from every other religious organization, dear Heavenly Father. We serve a true and living God that changes not. The one and only true and living God. A God that hears us when we cry out to him. Mm -hmm. A God that speaks to us when we need to hear a word. Yes. Thank you, Father. A God that actually loves us. Yes. In spite of ourselves, thank you. That Lord. is who we are here to worship. Thank you, God, we are here to worship thank you, Lord. the true and living God, the God that sits high and, and looks low, the God that was there in the beginning and that will be there at the end, the God who is the Alpha and the Omega, You're the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the thank Almighty you. God, the true and living, yes, self-existing God. God. Yes, Lord. That is who we are here and to worship, God. Father, and we will lift holy. up and we will magnify yes. your name because you and you alone are worthy, God. So, yes, guys, we are Lord. standing in this place. I pray that each and every heart has already turned towards you, God. I pray that every yes, mind Lord. has shifted and focused on you right now, dear Heavenly Father. God, we stand against every Keep distraction there, right now Spirit. in Keep the mighty there. name of Jesus, God. We understand that the Holy Spirit is the only spirit that is welcome in this place, God. So we ask that you continue to move and have your way in this place. Touch each and every one from the youngest to the oldest, God, and everybody in between. God, some of us need to have a Damascus Road experience in oh, this yes. place today, oh, God. Yes. Oh, yes, Lord. Some yes. of us need to be yes. knocked off of our horse mm -hmm. and our, our horse. vision taken from us, God, yes, God. so that Shake we can only so hear Shake and so see Lord. from come to you with that God we know that you have something for us in return that is going to better our lives to better, better to draw us closer Lord. to you dear Heavenly Father yes, to be Lord. better husbands to our wives better wives to our husbands Lord. better, better neighbors to our God. neighbors better co-workers to our co-workers better uh, uh, fathers to our children and mothers to our children God We've come into this place, God, to worship you so that in your presence, God, we will be made glory, better God. for your glory, God. That's right, Lord. It's, it's not about us, God. It's about you, about you and you Thank alone, you, God. So help us to keep the focus on that you, you and you alone, God. God. Let every yes, testimony yes, be about God. you and you alone. Let every song sung be about you and you alone. Every prayer prayed, every scripture read be about you and you alone. You are the intent, Because God. you Thank and you. you alone are worthy, God. As we continue to move forward, again, we say, Holy Spirit, have your way. Please take complete control right now. Give us the praise that you want us In to give back to Jesus. you, God. Thank you, Lord. If it be a shout, give it to us, God. If it be a hand clap, give, give it to us, God, mm -hmm. so that we can give it back to you. And it be pleasing and a sweet-smelling savor unto your nostril, God. This is our sincere prayer in this place, God. We lift you up and we glorify you alone, God. And yes, we'll be Father. mindful to yes, give you the Father. praise, honor, and glory, not just for what you are already for doing in this place, are, God, but, are. God, we are going to praise you in advance for the things that are going to happen, yes, God, for yes, how we're going to walk yes, out of this place yes, changed yes. and better by the end for of this worship service, promise, God. God, 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 we bless your name. Lord. We lift you up. We shout hallelujah unto you, God, as we celebrate you. And it's in your son Jesus' name that we do pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We give you glory, God. We give you all the glory, God. Thank 
we stand and lift up our hands. For the joy of the Lord is our strength. We bow, we bow down and worship Him now. How great, how awesome is He. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth is filled with His glory. Holy is the Lord God Almighty. The earth.
See? 
worship him. that Peter made that thou art the Christ, yes. the son of the living God. Thank you, Jesus. And Jesus said, flesh and blood had not revealed that to him, but that came from our heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes, so God, we thank you for the revelation thank that you've given us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Our Lord and Savior, yes. Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus thank said, you, you have Jesus. seen me, you have thank seen you, the Father. Father. Thank and you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. the Father are one. Hallelujah. And God, we thank you for the oneness that we thank have God. in our Lord and Savior, yes. Jesus Christ. We thank you, God, that he live in us and we live in him, and that we all live in you, and we are all one with you. We give you glory, we give you praise for that. We thank you so very, very much for your Holy Spirit that gives us the power, God, that gives us the power to endure, God, hardship like a good soldier. God, we thank you so very, very much for the full armor of God that you've given us so that we can take a stand against the enemy, God. After you've done all to stand, to stand and put on the whole Lord. arm you, of God. God, we yeah. thank you so very, very much that you've given us the belt of truth. You've given us the shoes of the preparation of the gospel of peace. We thank you for the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, God, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word the Lord, Lord. of God. Hallelujah. We have victory in Jesus, and we thank you so very, very much. For the victory it's all that we in have. Jesus. Thank we you. We thank you so very, very much, God. We thank you so very much for this day that you have made. We shall continue to rejoice and be glad in this day. We have so much to be grateful and thankful for, God. We thank you so very, very much for being a provider and a protector. We thank you so very, very much for strengthening your people yet right now in the name of Jesus. We're all weak somewhere, but in our weakness, your strength is always made perfect. Yes. And so we thank, thank you, you for thank your you. perfect strength in yes, our weakness, Lord. God. I don't know what area of weakness your people are dealing with right now, but your strength is made perfect. Hallelujah. You yes, also Lord. said that we are stronger in our time of weakness. Yes. And so we thank you so very much because that's the time, God, that we lean on you. That's the time that we depend on you, God. It's in our time of weakness, God. It's in our time of need that we really cry out to you, God, that we really bow our knee and our head. It's in those times of adversity, God, when we are in the storm yes, of life, yes, when the Lord. winds come and beat yes, vehemently Lord. against our life, God, and the winds and the waves come against our life, God. Oh, That's the time, God. Those power. are the times, yes, those are the times, oh, God, that we see out in your faith, God, in the name of Jesus. Yeah, but we have to remember, God, that our life we is built on a foundation. That's a rock, God. So when the winds and the waves come and beat vehemently, God, and we will not yeah. fall. We will stand, God, through all adversity. God. There's a lot of things going on in our world today. We may be shaken, God, but we won't be cast down. That's God. right, Lord. We, That's may right. Be, we may bend, but we won't fall, God. That's right, Lord. We won't break, God. And so we thank you so very, very much, God, how you have strengthened us. You prepared us for times just like this, God. We've been in a time of preparation and sanctification, yes, God, we have, because Lord. we had thank no you. idea what was coming, God, yes, but it has strengthened us, God, God. Hallelujah. spirit, mind, soul, and body, God. Thank it you, has Lord. strengthened thank us, God. God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. We understand that the enemy has raised his head, God, mm -hmm. but we remember what you the enemy would be under our feet, under God, our feet. Yes. And our heel, our heel he will bruise his head. Thank you, Lord. And his heel Lord. will bruise our heel, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the power, We have Lord. conquered him. We have conquered the enemy, Father, in the name of Jesus. Because we have we have also conquered death, hell, and the grave. That's right. Because That's right. we have already died to ourselves and we because of Jesus, Jesus. God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We don't have to worry about death anymore. We don't have to worry about dying anymore, God. Because we already died to only death. Sacrifice every day for this walk, God. We have to be willing to sacrifice every day, God, for this 
anointed. We have to be willing to sacrifice every day, God. In the name of Jesus, for the sake of the gospel, we have to be willing to deny ourselves daily and to take up our cross and follow you. That's a conscious decision, God, that we all have to make. We thank you so very much. For giving us the strength to endure. Thank you, Lord. Like yes, these. God. Thank you. So we pray for our world right now, Father, that oh, they will yes. come yes, to Christ. Yes, yes, yes. We pray yes, for Lord. our world right now, Father, yes. in the name of Jesus. Jesus is that the you answer. will give yes, them the God. revelation Thank that Jesus, Jesus is the answer to every need that they have, God. In the name of Jesus. And no matter what they try to do, they will not win without you, God. That's right. Because you said in your word that we can do nothing, nothing without, without you. Nothing without you, Lord. We can do nothing without you. And so we pray for our world right now, God. We pray. You, you said if God. your people who are called by your name would pray. That's it. If we would humble ourselves, if we would come out of our wicked ways, you would hear from heaven, forgive us of our sin and heal this land. So we take full responsibility right now as we pray for this world as you have called us to do. From now on, God, we're going to be the salt and the light that you've called us to be. We're going to be the example of the shining examples that you have called us to be. And we're going to stand strong, God. We're going to stand with our heads up. We're not going to walk in fear no matter what you said. Fear no man. We will not fear what man can do to us, God, because we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. And no weapons formed against us shall ever prosper, God. I say no weapons formed against us shall ever prosper, God, in the name of Jesus. We have not given up the spirit filled with love, power, and a sound mind, God. And we got to walk we're going to walk in the power that he has given us as the body of Christ. We're going to walk in that power, God, because we have that power. We have that power. And so we thank you for your Holy Spirit that gives us the power to endure hardship. Yes, like, Lord. A good like a good soldier. Yes, in Lord. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
So he went to the cross. And every time I slip, the Holy Spirit is there to convict. And I am reminded, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am reminded that I am kept. Mm, mm, mm. It's only by His grace, through faith, not of words, so I cannot boast. But every time I mess up, the Spirit tells me, get up, get up. cause I'm filled with the Holy Ghost, what can separate me from your love? Nothing can pluck me out of your hands. I'm not a lost one, my God's never lost one. I am kept. My God has never lost one, so I'm not a lost one. I am kept. I'm not perfect, but you won't ever let me fall. No, because every time the enemy tries his best to tempt me, you provide a way out of it all. But even when I stumble, your spirit picks me up and it keeps me humble. And I am reminded, I am reminded that I am kept. Thank you, Lord. It's only by his grace, through faith, not of works, so I cannot boast. But every time I mess up, your spirit tells me, get up, cause I'm sealed by your Holy Ghost. What can separate me from your love? Nothing can pluck me out of your hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not a lost one. My God's never lost one. I am kept. Said my God has never lost one, so I'm not a lost one. I am kept. I am not defeated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The enemy is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And I believe it, so God told me repeat it. The victory's here. I am not defeated, the enemy is, and I believe it, so God told me repeat it, the victory's his, I am not defeated, the enemy is. And I believe it, so God told me, repeat it, the victory's his. Said, I am not defeated. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I am kept. Glory. Glory. opportunity now the testimony floor is open for you to give your testimonies what God has done for you in this day and in this week the testimony floor is open amen, amen. thank you Lord thank you Lord amen. yes ma'am thank to you, God Lord. be the glory thank praising you. him for our family being here and he truly does God truly does give you the desires of your heart um, when you delight yourself in him the word of God says he'll give you the desires of your heart mm -hmm. so I had to make sure it wasn't me when you know we all wanted to come to Texas. So we just praise mm -hmm. God because not only did God make a way, but the way he provided for us the testimony 
Thank you. I was um, on my uh, little app where it shows like where you get like benefits of certain things, and it's uh, an app kind of went across the screen. It looked like it was like an ad kind of thing, and it said, "Click here uh, to enter your banking account information to get a thousand dollars." So I'm like, oh. that sounds like something, you know? But I was like, yeah. gonna put it on my heart. Say, okay, well. My guy ain't gonna let nobody scam me or hack me or whatever. <laughs> so I said, okay. Went on ahead and did it. Got a confirmation email that said, in one to three days, it's gonna be deposited to your account. Well, to God be the glory, you know me still, I went to Google these people, trying to see what was going on, right? Like, I don't know. But what it said was, do not try to contact us. This is a random selection. You have to be selected and chosen for this. And so I just praise God. When it entered into my bank account, I knew without a shadow of a doubt that was God saying, this is for you. Amen. And to God be the glory, that's about how much it is for this trip. So I Amen. praise God. with somebody and I was done ready I I cut people off that's what I do and God is working on that Amen. <laughs> but in, the, in that I was talking to another friend and I was you know explaining the situation to her but at the same time I was trying to tell her that she got to get in a position where she can hear from God and she was asking me what does that look like well a couple days later open my Bible and he talking to me about the situation with the altercation what I got to do as a Christian. That's this is right. how you finna handle this. And so I shared that with her. And in that, I'm telling her, you know what I said, and here's what God said to me. This is how he talks to me. So for her to read that scripture, and not only could she hear what he was saying to me, he had something there for her. Mm -hmm. So I just thank him for showing her mm -hmm. how he speaks to us, because some people who don't have that intimate relationship with him don't understand how he speaks to us, mm -hmm. but he does, and he does it through his word. And I just thank him for loving me enough to to speak to me. 
Sometimes when we see him, I'll say fulfill prophecy, I fulfill scripture, you know, it, it becomes, that's when it becomes real or it becomes life, you know, mm -hmm. so, I mean, I've seen God, I mean, he said this year that he's going to do things, you know, he's going to do so much that we'll never not believe him again, and, and to see that God answer a prayer, I didn't even ask, I mean, like he said, his, his ways are far above our ways, you know, he could do abundantly above all that we could ever ask, think, or imagine, you know, um, I kind of felt like when 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 the angel was leading Peter out of the prison and he did like he was half asleep like when I, I see you know them there but I'm, I'm not really seeing them you know just in a in a different real. shock or prayer state you know God man you know it's just like you know I wake up yesterday saying okay well how's this day gonna go you know and I just I just thank God because man just. Cause how much he loves me, you know. Yeah. And this yeah. morning, that song, uh, reaping the harvest, God promised me, mm -hmm. take back what the devil stole from yeah. me, you know. Just, just, I just thank God for how much he loves me. Is my testimony. Amen. 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 Great is his yeah. faithfulness, sir. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I have two testimonies in here. Um, first, uh, so I thank God for his, uh, how he provides, um, just. Uh, exponentially. Um, wow. Last week, um, there was this little post going around for businesses and like asking people to just kind of donate like two dollars each. Like mm -hmm. it'll add up. The goal is like two hundred dollars or whatever, just to see, um, just to get some support and whatnot. Um, for the shepherd's wool, we got surpassed that goal very Amen. quickly, <laughs> and uh, and the. The cash app is on my phone, so my phone was just going off and off and wow. off and over and over. And right when I thought it was over, I was like, wow, we, we got past the goal, like $100 past the goal. But then this week, unexpectedly, my good friend, she donated $100, like out of nowhere. So like, we like, got even oh. past, mm -hmm. like even that much more mm -hmm. past the goal. Mm -hmm. So I, I just really thank God for just how he's providing and how he puts it on people's hearts and there's encouragement in that as well because you know God placed his business in John's heart and so for me to be able to be part of it and to just see the way that it's really unfolding the way that people are providing and showing their support towards it yeah. he is coming to the church and I thank God for for that um, secondly I thank God for just kind of um, just in the humbling of relationships 
uh, one of my close friends, she just lost her, her dad, and um, and I, usually I don't know how to handle when people lose a parent, and so I was trying to give her some space and everything, but she made it very clear that out of everyone that she would hear from, she really wanted to hear from me continuously, and God just really showed me, like, the value of the relationship and the value of friendship in the house, even even in hard times, people still need to hear from from who they care about. And I didn't know that I was one of her closest friends. I, I had no idea. So to kind of like be in a position to where me just checking on her means that much more to her, I thank God for that because usually I just kind of think I'm, I'm just checking on you just to be a friend, but it, it means that much more. So I just thank God for just the realization of relationship and friendship. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Let it use you. Yeah. Any more testimonies this morning? Well, continue to honor God. He deserves it. Look at all the blessings he's got. Just oh, yes. Oh, him. yes. Thank, thank you, Lord. Mm-hmm. We give God the glory mm-hmm. for you. We thank God for you. Amen. We thank God for your testimonies. I bring you your announcements. <laughs> this is a new month. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 New month. Any June birthdays, please stand. He's in my age. Which I hear missing. We got another June? No. No. Jaya was the only one, yeah. Amen. Well, happy birthday, Jaya. I hope you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. We have a, a thank you. Your kind and thoughtful expression of sympathy is deeply appreciated and gratefully acknowledged. To the family and members of the Red Sea Baptist Church, thank you. We thank God upon every remembrance of you. Your kindness, thoughts, and prayers were instrumental in comforting us during this time of unbearable sorrow. We appreciate your love offering and the beautiful plant and flower arrangement. Your love was felt throughout the planning phases of Mama's Homegoing Celebration. We love you all, the Sutton Stevenson family. Amen. 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 We do. Amen. Reverend would like to speak with all the women after service today. Amen. 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 Anything from the pulpit? <laughs> Those have been your announcements. Please govern yourselves accordingly. Thank you, Sister Tamika, so very much. Sister Tamika, I want to say I missed you up here. Amen. Uh, giving them announcements, so I thought, you know, I've been not read them, the thank you card I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? What? right? Is that right? But can I personally say to each and every one of you, thank you so very, very much. Thank you so very much. So very, very much. Your prayers were felt. I want you to know that. Uh, uh, I heard people say, you know, they feel your prayers, and uh, I can feel your prayers, and I was like, okay, so you kind of like know somebody praying for you. Mm-hmm. But to a, to a point where you really can sense mm-hmm. uh, folks on their knees right. praying for you, I thank God for that. Because, again, in, his, in my weakness, his strength was made perfect. Mm-hmm. Uh, your prayers helped us really to go through this thing. I would never planned uh, a home going before and from the beginning to the end. And then, you know, I, I come to find out, yes, I don't care. Even how much you pray, that enemy gonna raise his head in somebody uh, because folks walk in their, you know, in their emotions. And I just thank God that I didn't flip in mine. Amen. Amen. I thank God for that. I thank God for my family, how we came together and how we went on and did what God called us to do. I thank God for my husband, the covering, saying, "Listen, I'm just over here praying." He kept saying over and over again. Preparation and sanctification. Amen. Preparation and sanctification. He just kept yeah. saying it. He was saying it out loud. And I just thank God. I really do of the strength that he's given us. And I thank my church family for being such a the certain family. You really were. Uh, you are a blessing indeed. And we thank God for you. Uh, but now, uh, was I supposed to read this or something, John? What's the reason you gave this? Okay, okay. All right, this is just a meal. All right, amen. It's that time, y'all. Hallelujah, hallelujah thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. We call it hallelujah, thank you, Jesus time. And I uh, want to let you know this right here. I was saying this yesterday. Say, so you keep your hands closed. You have enough number, but you can't get none either. All right. <laughs> I'm reminded of that. 
God has an open hand. He said, open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings that we can't have room enough to receive. And so why don't we receive from the Lord today? How about that? Amen. Amen. How about we receive from the Lord today as we worship through our giving? Those who have prepared themselves, I pray you prepared ourselves way before now. I just want to praise you. Come on, then. Forever and ever and ever. Friday, but I thank God for it. 
And so this worship leader that God has blessed right now, he's going to come and give us our last inspirational song. Immediately following that, uh, let us stand and we're going to uh, receive the, uh, the vessel today. And we're going to stand and sing our hymn of affirmation, our trust in the Lord. We prepare our hearts to receive the inspired word of God given today. All right? Give God some, give God some glory. Encourage the worship leader. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. i 
This is my weapon. I am armed and dangerous. Look out, devil, the fire is on. Would you meet me, please, in the book of 1 Timothy, the sixth chapter? We'll start reading at verse 6. That's 1 Timothy, the book of 1 Timothy, the sixth chapter, and we're going to start reading at verse 6. There is a word from the Lord today. Uh, I pray that you can receive it as I received it, this word today. Now, when we have all arrived there, would you acknowledge by saying amen? Amen. amen. So we're all there, and I'm reading from the New King James translation of the word of God. And it reads, 6th chapter, beginning at verse 6. 
Now, godliness with contentment is great gain. Uh huh. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and clothing, with these we shall be content. Yeah, yeah. But those who desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and harmful lusts, mm -hmm. which drown men in destruction and perdition. Perdition, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil, for which some have strayed from the faith in their greediness and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Mm -hmm. But you, O oh man and woman of God, Flee these things and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, gentleness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, to which you are also called and have confessed the good confession of many witnesses. We have read this morning, 1 Timothy, the 6th chapter, verses 6 through 12. We thank God for the reading of this word. We thank God more so the power to, to do this word. You may be seated. Um, if I were to use a title this morning uh, for this word, it will be, His will is contentment to me. Amen. Amen. His will, or let me say it like this, being in His will is contentment to me. And so in order to really look at this, I, I, um, I, I've i been listening to a little word, I try my best not to listen to too much uh, preaching, because it tends to sometimes have an effect on me to where I'll pull, and I want to make sure I'm not pulling from nothing that God gave somebody else, uh, and so, but last night as I was <coughs> studying, dear brother of mine was doing intercessory prayer, and um, I was uh, listening to what he was teaching, and I said, now this is good teaching. And God gave me this, and I want to first of all explain and give a definition of contentment. Sometimes we don't know what contentment means. Mm -hmm. We think that, okay, you know, you're supposed to take any. Right. Contentment is the determination of the state of happiness, really peacefulness, of satisfaction, a a, a, a a, a, uh, a state of satisfaction or being pleased. And so we know that sometimes some things don't please us because, let's be honest, if we were to continue to operate in our emotions mm -hmm. and in our flesh, we're never ever going to be satisfied. Mm -hmm. We're never ever going to be full. We're never ever going to be pleased. I found this out. I, maybe some of us ain't lived long enough to realize that yet. When you get something that you say you just got to have, you ever notice how you got to have more of it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, how it is that when it's something that you just, it's a, we, we even describe it that some of the wants we have, we say, I need that. It's even a little catchphrase going out, you know, I mean, I need that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm saying now, <laughs> there's certain things you need. I, I, look, I don't need a Jaguar. I just need a, Fear yeah. uh, that can that's got some air in it, first of all. Yeah, that's in Texas. Yeah. I need one that's got some air in it. That's in Texas. And that, 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 that can run, okay? Because there's nothing wrong with having, listen, have a car with air that work, but the car don't run. All or right. vice versa. All right. The car run and don't have no air in Texas. Mm -hmm. So that's what I need. But I don't need that Jaguar, even though it's got air and, you know, it runs and all that. Uh, but we tend to say things like that to um, express how deep the desire is right. for something. Yeah. And God is telling us that we're going to have to learn how to be content. Amen. Look what, what he said. I mean, we're in verse 6. I'm still in the Bible. Godliness with contentment. See, some of us, we say that we so godly, but we ain't content. Hmm. The reason I know this is because we'll take a whole God, we'll take work, some of the verses out of the word and say, God want me to be rich. And I read that, did I not, this morning? Mm -hmm. God want me to be rich. God, God don't want me to be poor. Now, God wants you to be content. Yeah. With so what? Ever you have. Mm -hmm. See, I, and, and this just goes back to an attitude. That's what it boils down to. 
So uh, we're never satisfied. And so let me tell you something that happens when you have, when you don't have contentment. The lack of contentment mm -hmm. tends to breed greediness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you're not content, I said this a few minutes ago, we tend to want more. I have it and I want more. And let me say something about this. Some of us, you know, will use that scripture, you have not because you ask not. And so we just ask for everything. We don't try to, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it. You know, we have, we don't even go to God, though, but we go to people. Yeah. You know, because she said, well, you know, God said we have not because we ask not. Well, you know, he was talking about asking him, right? <laughs> He was talking about coming before him and asking him, Lord, is it thy will that I should have this? It's really, you do understand that. Because anytime we go to God in prayer, we're supposed to pray according to what? His will. God. His will to be done. Yes. Not my will, not my wants, not my desires. So this is why, you know, when, don't use the, I heard John say it last week, you know, we have a tendency, you know, to take scripture out of context and out of content and, twist it all around. So we, we, don't, we shouldn't use that like that, say you have not because you ask not. He asks everybody mm -hmm. for everything. Mm -hmm. oh, man. And never going to God. Mm -hmm. Let me finish with this. I tell you, what else is breeds besides greediness and greed? That spirit of mammon, that's what greed is. Mm -hmm. You never have enough. Mm -hmm. Never have enough. It brings about division. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? When you're not content. Mm -hmm. Cause see, I, I'm like that. Every time you, every, listen, I'm gonna get tired of seeing you coming. Every time I see you coming, you like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You asking me for something. Yeah. You ain't never bringing nothing. Yeah. So when I say division, I mean living that I leave. You know, I divide, I, I separate myself from you. <laughs> All right. I avoid you. Yeah. Even when, on the on the other hand, not that person. Even with me, if I'm not content. I will divide myself from others that will not cater to me. Hello, somebody. When I'm not content. Because I feel entitled that, you know, I see you got it. I see you have it, but you won't let me have none of it. I remember as a child coming up, you know, um, and we teach our children to do what share. And I know that Y'all mamas taught y'all to share. Don't say she didn't. I know she did. You just didn't pay attention and, and, and learn something. But we teach our children to share. Even if we don't do nothing but teach them to share with mama. To try to teach them to share. Mm -hmm. And so my mama taught me to share. And I didn't, I, I, and, and I didn't know why she was teaching us because we never had, it was just amongst us what we want to share amongst each other. Because she never let us have no company and stuff like that for people to come over to share with. But they would come every now and then. Well, she didn't allow us to go to the store. Everything that we needed, if we wasn't in the house, you didn't need it. Need it. So you want to want to. So we would have stuff and we would come outside and and sometimes people come over. And then we had those those ones that, you know, they mama would give them money, they go down to the store and they come back and this is what they would do. They would come over to your house with stuff. Mm -hmm. They got from the store, just so you can see if they got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then won't share it with you. And my mom was like this. If she caught you begging, that's mm -hmm. what she called it, uh -huh. begging for something. And that's what we call it. Stop begging me. Oh, I, I just asked for some. Especially that pickle. You know, everybody like that pickle. Give me a piece of that pickle. But they would do that to come there with things that they know that you couldn't get. Mm -hmm. And so here they show up, not to share with you, but to do what? Sure. To taunt you. Yeah. And, and it created some division, mm -hmm. is where I'm going with this, okay? Had one, she would come the other time, she'd go get her the soda, chips, and a pickle, and come over, and wouldn't give nobody, and then they wanted you to beg them. <laughs> They wanted you to beg them because it shows some type of power. Power. Mm -hmm. See, even back then, we was operating in witchcraft and didn't even know it. Mm -hmm. Y'all better hear me. Mm -hmm. Y'all better hear me. So when you're not content, see, I should have been content because mama had food in the house for us to eat. We mm -hmm. wasn't hungry. Mm -hmm. We just wanted something else. Come on, somebody. 
it, it wasn't that it was a need. Cause I could have went right in the house and got a can of fruit cocktail and come out there and and and, and been all right. right. <laughs> True. And the good part about it is that once you learn this lesson that your parents have taught you about sharing. You don't become like them when they won't share. <laughs> and you know, you feel like this and that, and you, and you threaten them so that the next time I have some, I'm not gonna give you a <laughs> <either>. <laughs> Right. Mm. <laughs> and that's nothing but a ploy to get them to what? Share. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> It'll work sometimes. I say I'll have to say this, mm -hmm. it brings about this unity and division. And so this is why God wants us to be content. So that when that neighbor show up with that soda pop over your house and you want it so bad, mm -hmm. you content with drinking your water, all right? Mm -hmm. To where you don't get all upset and, and, and be divided from them. Because you know what you say? I'm content. Amen. Now, the opposite of that, as I go on, contention. Hey, mm -hmm. that's a word there. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, same root word. Ain't that, ain't that, uh, we got a language. We got a serious language. <laughs> Uh, out this English language, I'm, I'm learning so much about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Same root word, mm -hmm. but just the opposite. Hmm. Contentment is to be pleased. Contention is to <laughs> be <Aww>. displeased. <laughs> and that's, what I, that's what I got right here. Disagreement, struggle, to strive against. So when you're not content, you're going to be contentious. That's what I'm saying to you. When you're not operating, when you're not, when you haven't learned to be content and uh, and be in contentment, you're probably going to end up contentious or in contention hmm. with. <coughs> it brings about this <coughs> and confrontation. Can you turn with me right quick to First Corinthians, the eleventh chapter, mm -hmm. and the sixteenth verse? See, I'm reminded. Uh, of myself as I look back on my, my younger years and, and, and some things I still can remember. I don't know about y'all, but I, 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 I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, you know, if I can remember that, does that mean I'm holding some kind of... Mm -hmm. All right. Right. Mm -hmm. hold, and I had to deal with that. I said, Lord, don't let me be found mm -hmm. not content. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fifty-eight years later, about a pickle, <laughs> Y'all better hear me. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. Yes. Amen. No, I was. Amen. See, I, I'm talking about me right now. Yes. I know. Yes. I know. Now I don't know what yours is. Right. Yeah. But I say I said 58 years, but you know what I meant. Somewhere along there, I may have been about seven or mm -hmm. ten or something like that. Four eight years later, I'm still feeling something about a pickle mm -hmm. with a peppermint stick in because somebody wouldn't give me a piece. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear me? Yeah. First Corinthians, I said eleven, right? Yes. Verse sixteen, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Are we there? Because this is what God says about contentious. This is why he wants you to know that, 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 that uh, uh, godliness with contentment is great gain. Amen. Because he don't want this right here. Verse 16, but if anyone seems to be contentious, mm. we have no such custom, nor do the churches of God. Mm. People of God, we can't be in contentious, confrontational, because we're not content. In other words, and I'll tell you something else it breathes, it breathes covetousness. Huh. Yes, it will. I know I'm right about that. See, the covenant is that, like I want it, you want what somebody else got. Mm -hmm. Why is it that we always want what somebody else got rather than want something like somebody got? Mm -hmm. Can I tell you why? Because you want and you don't want them to have it. Mm. Oh. I'm, us. I'm helping me. I'm, just, I'm helping me. I'm, but now y'all just in the room. I see that y'all just in the room, uh -huh. and, and you can nod your head north and south if you want to, because I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about me right now. See, I can want, why is it that I can't, girl, I, I like that, let me have that. Why can't, girl, where you get that from? Can I, can I do one like that? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Because they come like that, you know, girl, I like that. Because they want you to let them have that, so you know, not that I can have it, but that you no longer have it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I told you it's very subtle. God dealt with me first. I said, get it with me first. Yeah. See, I don't have a problem with wearing the same dress that some of you ladies got. You know why? Why? Ask me why. Why? Because I'm going to wear a belt anyway. All right. <laughs> 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 Too. 
Yeah. 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 No, I, I, and I don't want to seem like I'm sounding uh, uh, prideful or, or arrogant, but what I'm saying to you is that it never has been like that. And it's something beautiful. You know, can we both look beautiful in it? Right. That's right. Like beautiful Amen. twins. That's right. Beautiful triplets. Amen. That's right. When we're in the choir stand, we all wearing the same robe. Yeah. We all looking good. That's why we want to wear the hanging earring, because I don't want to look like everybody else in my choir robe. Ah. Let me stop. I'm going to stop. I'm yeah, going to stop. Exactly. Y'all encouraging me today. Uh-huh. But, but, but coveting us is what I, I want what belongs to others. But can I tell you something? What that would do mm-hmm. when, when you, if you're not content and you get to the point of covetousness, mm-hmm. you know you're going to become like the enemy. I'm going to steal it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Kill it. Kill you for it. Or destroy it. Come on. Mm-hmm. Or I'm going to destroy it. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Come on. Help it. Yeah. Me. Speaking the truth. Help it. Me. That's, That's good. good. That's good. This is why God wants us to be. Not just godly, he wants us to be content. Because can I say something, family? Sometimes we can get so godly and holy that we think we deserve some things. Mm-hmm. See, I know right now, and I'm not talking about it, but I'm just talking. Yeah. Some that's like me and stand behind this sacred desk that God been called, we think that we deserve more than what anybody else deserves. And so I can go and do some things that you can't do. Mm-hmm. I can have some things that you can't have. And I want to say to you this. We all came in at the same place at the cross. That's right. The ground was completely level. That's right. It wasn't cheered up. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. And we got to remember that even in our calling, when God anointed us to do things, we can't begin to, to not be content where we are and think that we deserve so much more. See, I have what God has for me because he loves me. And what he allows me to have, I thank him for. And what he don't allow me to have, no, I say thank you, Lord. Because his mother's going to do something. I don't need nothing coming between me and you, Lord. Can I say something? Don't get upset with God when you say no like you did your mom and them. Mm. (laughs) Mm. Mm. You was wrong for that. Mm. Go to Titus, the third chapter, please, verse 9. Mama was just looking out for you. She had your best. She trying to keep me. She don't want me to live my best life. <laughs> she don't want me to live my best life. She trying to hold me back because she never got this. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, Mom. Uh-huh. John, I ain't never tried to keep you from nothing, so I tried to push you into it. Only because I wanted it. it was best, but I want it better for you. And anybody that's a mother in here or a parent in here, you always want what's best, better for your children than what you had. Amen. Mm-hmm. I want you to be a better preacher, hmm. a better servant hmm. than I am. Won't even be no competition. I heard that too, you know, about, you know, because it's a true statement. Families competing against each other. We in Titus, the third chapter, verse 9, you there? Amen. Amen. Look what God said. But avoid foolish disputes, genealogies, contentions, and mm. striving about the law. There we are right now. We, we, we're currently in that. Right. Mm. Okay? For they are unprofitable and useless. Church, listen. And I want to be encouraging here. God has called us to be godly because what? He's godly. He calls to be holy because he's holy. We're supposed to be like him. We're not supposed to be like them. All right. Not that we're thinking that we're so much better than them, but we are better people because of him. And just like what was said last week, what the Lord said to us, I really have to question and ask my father, Lord, what would you have me to do? Mm-hmm. Even in situations that affect me. Hello, somebody. All right. I, I know right now that somebody, uh, 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 and it's, uh, it's, uh, that's what they talk about, is about my rights being infringed upon, mm-hmm. okay? Yes, that is a true statement, but I still have to ask my father, mm-hmm. what would you have me to do, Lord? All right. Because, see, I have to avoid the foolishness. Mm-hmm. I can't get pulled into foolishness. Mm-hmm. You see what's going on, don't you? Yeah. Start now as, as peaceful protest that have turned what? Rioters. And now they want to call the protesters ri- looters and rioters. No, they're protesters. Mm-hmm. The, the looters are looters. The, right. the ones that's looting is the looters. The one that's rioting are the rioters. Right. 
the one that I protested, I protested. Mm -hmm. But you see how you can be lumped in? Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's why I got to ask God, what would he have me to do? And I'm not saying he's going to tell you to stay at home and stay on your knees. He may have you to go out there, but you better make mighty sure that he got you going out there Amen. and ain't something else got you going out there. All right. And what I mean by that, you're black and I'm proud thing. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's the problem right there. God ain't never wanted us to be proud. Mm. Exactly. Oh, amen, amen. Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. Humble yourself. Amen. What did he do? He resists the pride. I don't want uh, God resisting me. All right. uh, that's why I'm not black and I'm proud. Amen. 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 I don't want God resisting me. Because though he told me, if I humble myself here, they don't want to humble me. All right. See, that's what's the problem right now. We, 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 we stay down. I'm tired of being down here. I want my rights, you yeah. know. But but but, but, I, but if I stay yeah. down there, God, yeah. and when God exalts you, I no man can pull you down. Amen. I want to say that right now. When Amen. God stay puts you God. up somewhere, yeah. there's no man, no woman, no law, no nothing that can pull you down. Amen. Thank you. I told y'all I learned that lesson a couple of months ago, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Cause I'm all bit out of shape, cause I'm not getting promoted, and you know, folks. Are, and, and he said, "Okay, you want you want that kind of promotion to where you indebted to them people? <laughs> when I get promotion, you ain't indebted to nobody. Hallelujah, yeah. that's right. Indebted to nobody. Glory. Oh no, man, nothing but to love him. Yeah. 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 In spite of they said, I give you a couple of attributes here I want to change with." Um, did I read that? I read that already. Mm. Titus the third chapter. Yeah. Let me Amen. tell you some attributes of contentment. So you need to write this down for real. If you don't, somebody write it down. You take a picture of it. You know, mm -hmm. go home and study it anyway. Okay. Five attributes of contentment, and you need to know these because they're important. What is attributes? That's the things that people that's content what they gonna exhibit. All right. Mm -hmm. Number one is that you love people, not money, not things, not possessions. See, when you love people, you don't care when folks go out there and buy a dress just like yours and wear it the same day you wear it. Amen. Mm. And you ain't look compliments. Like, girl, you show me mm -hmm. good. Yeah, if you're so stupid, you don't look good like you. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't, listen, if I don't encourage myself, sometimes, you know, you waiting on folks to encourage you, you be in a state of depression. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Well, love people, mm -hmm. not money. Or possessions or things, okay? This is what content people do. I love people. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Number two. Real good. Mm -hmm. Don't. This is a big don't. Put it in capital letters. Mm -hmm. Don't compare yourselves mm -hmm. with others. Hallelujah. Yeah. Resist that urge. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Didn't I just tell y'all? We got the same dress mm -hmm. on, but we ain't looking alike. Mm -hmm. Got the same hairstyle. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right. But it looks good on you. Look good. I'm going to say it looks better on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how it looks better on you. I got to give you that. That's because I'm loving people. Right. right. That's right. And not comparing. That's good. So don't compare yourself with others. This is being content. <laughs> the people that's closest to you, choose them very wisely. What does that mean? You don't want people that's close to you that's going to always be contending, contending against you. You know y'all had some. Mm -hmm. Girlfriend be like she really your friend all the time. She just, you know, sitting there hating on the seat. And I'm just hanging out with you to see what I can get. Mm -hmm. Right. And then can get your ear and have you to do something that's gonna hurt you. Right. Mm -hmm. Choose those that's closest to you wisely. You gotta have some discernment. We talking about not having those ones that are coveting, mm -hmm. okay, what you have. Number four, I love this. Every saint ought to do this. Maintain an attitude of gratitude, always. Listen, if you're always grateful, no matter, um, I'm gonna use my sister again. She said, listen, if I don't get number but one snap bean to put on a slice of bread for my sandwich, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for it because mm -hmm. I didn't have that at first. She said, if I don't get nothing but a penny, there was a penny that I did not have, so I'm grateful. Mm -hmm. So if anybody give me anything, I'm grateful for it. And if I get anything as a blessing, I'm grateful. I have 
have to go there and, and, and check myself sometimes because it goes back to it again. Well, you think you deserve more than what you're getting. And can I say something to you, people of God? Folks don't have to do nothing for you. Amen. Amen. They don't. And so you thank God. Now, sometimes we get that little twisted. You know, sometimes we thank folks more than we thank God. Mm. It shouldn't be like that, family. Uh, if we belong to God, we have to recognize that God is the source of everything. And who he used as a resource is up to him. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying don't thank people. Right. And don't be grateful to people. Because, you know, we thank God for people. Right. Yes. Yeah, we thank God for people. I thank God for obedient people. Amen. Come on. Come on. Right. If people do what God say when he say it, how he say it. Yeah. Like that sister said, you know, hey, he told somebody to give you $1,000. They didn't want to do it. Mm-hmm. He said, no, I don't want to go into Texas nowhere. I ain't getting I got it. <laughs> now, you be content. Don't be upset with me. Listen, I say that for one reason, because God is showing us. You know he know everything. He's in charge of everything. He wants us to be like him, though. Let's be content. Don't be worried. Let's not be concerned about it. If everybody in the job get a promotion, and they all sorry as they can be, and you know you work, don't you get sorry just to get a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Because what you do is like unto the what? Lord. The Lord. And God, look, God compensates real yeah, good. Amen. Y'all better hear me. Amen. Man can't compensate you how God don't compensate you. Uh-huh. I know I'm right about that. Because, see, God's conversation is round time the way you know it's him. Yes. So let's go like this. One of my favorite scriptures, Philippians, the fourth chapter, verses 11 through 13. Um, I know y'all like that one. Uh, Philippians, that's four. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to run along because um, the Lord told me to run along. <coughs> I've been running for Jesus. Hey, Brother Timothy. Yes, ma'am. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. No, what I really mean, I really love you because you pay me some attention right now. <laughs> okay. Yes, Thank you very much. Philippians 4 11 through. Y'all there with me? Take your turn. Philippians chapter 4, verses 11 through 13. Amen. I don't get no pages, though. Oh, I didn't give you the fifth one. I am so sorry. Y'all better speak I up. If I say I'm going to give you five lines, I got five things wrote down. Somebody's been going in the back. Amen. Thank you, Sister Lacey. Sister Lacey, they've been going and coming back. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let me turn around and back up because I thought I gave it to you. The fifth thing is to focus on your spiritual needs rather than your what? Come on, somebody. Physical. Somebody can read that. Physical. Rather than your what? Natural. Natural. What's the other one? Physical. Physical, thank you very much. Right, right. The people on the left must not be paying attention. Okay. Focus on your spiritual needs. Mm. See, when God said he has blessed us with every what? Spiritual blessing. Mm -hmm. You don't understand. Sister Michelle, I'd rather have favor with man and God than to have a million dollars. Now, don't get me wrong. A million dollars is okay. Amen. <laughs> yeah, hold on. But right. I'd rather have favor because favor can probably get me a couple of meals. Okay? Amen. You better watch this and this right here. Listen, when God puts your name in somebody's mouth, mm. all you got to do is put your name in the right person's right. mouth. Right. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. While I'm selling for the person over there, I want to put my name in the billionaire's mouth. Because he may break me off a billion. Amen. Amen. Right. Right. Don't get me wrong, I with the millionaire's mouth too then. But I'd rather have favor with God and man than to have the money. Y'all, am I yes. making sense to you yes. here? Talking about what? You focus on the spirit's need. Because see, I remind that when a man's ways please God, he makes his enemies to be in what? Peace, Peace with us. I've already found out. Let me declare the creed yeah. right there. If I please God, if I be all right with God and I do what God say, God will have my enemies coming and bring me money where I'd be suspicious. Oh, mm. what, 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 yeah. what, 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 wait, 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 wait. That's right. Y'all better hear me. That's, that's right. the way, that's the kind of God we serve. This way you know it's what? Him. Yeah. Because yeah. see, I told you earlier, we, we, you, sometimes we thank folks too much. We, oh, we, we be indebted to folks. We be, uh, uh, what's the word? Law to folks too right. much. Based upon something they did that God told them to do. And all they was doing being obedient to God. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And why sometimes I be telling y'all, listen, if I if the Lord used me to give you a blessing on stamping this, and then somebody testifying about something I did. And now you want to take my blessing away from me. All I was doing was being obedient. Because you know I say it all the time, if it was left up to me, if it was the real me. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I didn't know God's voice. No, I'm not kidding. What? <laughs> work like I work. You better save your money. Philippians <laughs> <laughs> 4, verses 11 to 13. Amen. Mm-hmm. See, that's my, that's my, what, y'all see that just did that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Leaning to my what? Flesh, my own understanding, and everything. That's why it's important, people of God, that where we, we are, if I'm content, I'm going to be in the will of God. Amen. And if I'm in the will of God, I'm going to be content. All right. Mm-hmm. And if I stay focused on spiritual things, then I'm focused on the things that's in the will of God. Mm-hmm. Do you know, let me say this right here, God is not concerned about, let me put it like this, his top concern is not your physical, because this is temporary. Right. Mm-hmm. His number one concern is your spiritual needs. Mm-hmm. And when he meets those, everything else is met anyway. Oh, you yes. need to understand that. Yes. All right. So we're in Philippians. Can I go to Philippians 4 now, verse? Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Amen. Not that, I, not that I speak in regard to need. Aha, uh-huh, aha. Uh-huh. For I have learned in whatever state I am to be what? Content. Content. I know how to be abased and I know how to abound. That means to be without and to have much, okay? Everywhere and in all things I've heard. I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. Because you know what? Verse 13, mm-hmm. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Thank you. Y'all love that one, don't you? Yeah. Well, if you really can do all, do all things through Christ, mm. stop begging both. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Can I go a step off? Change your prayer focus now. All right. Stop going to God begging for stuff you want. Amen. Uh, Amen. Why don't you just praise the Lord? You know what? I thank you for this. It's as good as it is. No, I don't have my Jaguar yet, Lord, but I thank you for what I'm riding in. All right. I thank you that it's got some air in it. Thank right. you, Lord. Yes. Amen. Thank you. No, I don't have the, 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 the 4,000 square foot home yet. But I thank you for the, the junky 1,100 square feet I got that is very comfortable to me, Lord. Amen. I'm just saying it's a little junky, Lord, because I'm tight in there. And the Lord said, hey, clean it up. Get rid of some of that stuff, you hoarder. Yeah. That's what he said. <laughs> Verse 19, same chapter, Philippians, the fourth. I love this. And my God shall do what? Supply all oh, yeah. your needs according to what? His, His riches and glory. glory. His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. There he is, people. Everything is in Jesus. I promise you everything is in Jesus. Everything. Father, in the name of Jesus, right now, I speak against pain right now and discomfort in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree right now, God, that you put your hands on it, Jesus, and you fix it. You do it. In Jesus' name, amen. We give God glory and praise. Let me share something else with you. See, God has already called us to where we can be content. Go to Hebrews 13, chapter, verse 5. Y'all going to love this. And and, and, and while we're going, and once you get there and you read it, raise your hand if you've seen it before. Now, this is not a test to see if you study your whole Bible. That's all right if you have. But if you've seen this scripture before, Bishop, we're not talking about you. <laughs> if you've seen this in scripture before, just, just ease your hand up a little bit. That's Hebrews 13, verse 5. Amen. 
Y'all seen somebody in the I say that to you for one reason. I've always seen part B. Oh, me too. Well. Oh, yeah. That's the part I always see. That's why it, 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 it pays to study to show yourself approved there. Are we there, Hebrews 13, verse 5? Amen. I've always seen part B. I always miss A. How do you go to B without going through A? Because it's somewhere else in the Bible. Yeah, it is somewhere else in the Bible. But I'm, I, I, yeah, you're right. God mess around and call up preaching. You preachers know wherever. <laughs> wherever <laughs> <switch is. laughs> Hebrews 13, 5. Amen. Are we there? Amen. Let your conduct be without what? Covetous. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I left that on covetousness, right? Mm -hmm. right? Because of what covetousness does, you know, it's very serious. We, we, we escalated from being content to content just to covetousness. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So this right here where we at. Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be what? Content mm -hmm. with such things as you have. But look at this right here. Mm -hmm. the, the, our favorite part right here. But he, but he himself has said, I will leave, never leave you nor forsake you. Can you be content with just having Jesus? Mm. Can that be more than enough for you? Yeah. Can I be content in that, that knowing that I'm his and he's mine? All right. All right. Listen, when you get that full revelation mm -hmm. of that he really is yours and you're really his, That content, mother says, a game changer. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. I heard you whisper. <laughs> game changer for us. Mm -hmm. When I really recognize that I got, I got the most valuable thing there is mm -hmm. to have mm -hmm. a relationship with the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, mm -hmm. the eternal God Himself. Why can't I be content with that? Mm -hmm. Because I gotta deny myself daily and mm -hmm. get on my cross. Basically. I gotta keep denying myself, y'all. As long as we walk around in this, I gotta deny myself daily in order for me to be content. Because that's the only way I'm gonna be in the will of God. I and see I gotta stay in the will of God. That's what we come out, stay in the will of God. And by the way, what we've been teaching, not as permissive will, but it's what? Perfect. Perfect will is where we desire to be. Can you go me to Ephesians the sixth chapter, verse five through eight? As I run along, it's time for us to go home. Would y'all agree? Nope. Somebody said no. Amen. Set up. Set up. Ephesians 6. Somebody already learned the contentment. Feeling better. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. Ephesians 6, I'm going to read verses 5 through 8. Can I talk to y'all just a little bit right here? And I may, God may let me close right here. That, bitch, that's all right? Amen. Got to do what God said. I think that right here is where we're going to be. Ephesians 6, 5 through 8, because we're talking about being what? In his will, because contentment is to be in his, or to be in his will is to be content. Mm -hmm. Okay? Y'all there? Mm -hmm. Ephesians 6, verses 5. And, and listen, Ephesians 6 is a powerful chapter mm -hmm. in, the, in the Bible for us as saints of God. Yeah. It's an encouragement chapter. Matter of fact, the whole book of Ephesians is encouragement. You know that, right? Yeah, to, the, yeah. to the church. Yeah. But in, in 6, it, it's, it's like a bold, like a, 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 a ecstatic uh, encouragement. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Because y'all know about putting on the whole armor, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, because he's trying to tell you, you know, you got to have it all. So we're in verse, uh, I'm there. Uh, y'all there? Yeah. Amen. But verse 5. Bond service. I love bond service. I, I'm a bond servant. Amen. I'm a bond servant. Uh, be obedient to those who are your masters according to the flesh with fear and trembling and what? In sincerity of heart as to Christ. Amen. It, yes, it's up for examination. It is. Mm -hmm. Not with our service as mm -hmm. men pleasers, but as bond servants of Christ. What I do is because mm -hmm. God knows everything. He knows the very mm -hmm. tent of my heart. I can't fool it with this little stuff I do out here when my motive is not pure. Right. I can't. See, I'm doing the will of God from where? The heart. Amen. Uh -huh. With good will doing service as to who? The, the Lord. Lord and not to men. Knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord, whether he is slave or free. Now, this is the thing right here. 
Somebody will say, well, that's what then back then uh, it was written for those slave masters. Can I say something to you? You were once a slave to sin. Mm. And believe it or not, sometimes we tend to want to go back and be a slave to sin. Can I say that to you? I know I'm right about it because anytime I lean to my flesh rather than to the spirit of God, then I want to be a slave back to sin. And so in saying that, we need to understand that everything that I do, everything that I say or even think, shall be as unto God himself to give God glory. Yes. Yes. This is how I'm going to stay content. I'm going to stay content like this. Amen. I'm not going to be concerned about what you see mm. or what you think. See, if I focus on what, if I focus on what people, I have too many agendas mm. that I have to. Right. 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 That's right. right. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes. Y'all know how it goes. You can please some of the people. Some of the time, you can please all the people. All the people, some of the time. And listen, I can't even keep up with it. I'm not trying to please y'all no more. I, I just want to make sure. See, God told me, I told you, I said it already, didn't I? that when a man's ways please God, he'll make even his enemies. So I know that my enemies is going to be there, and that everybody claim they like me, uh -huh. Uh -huh. or claim that they are like me, that we are alive, then I know you're going to be pleased. Because ain't that what pleased y'all, what pleases God? Yeah. I know that's right. And so why are we endeavor to do this? God said this right here. Godliness with contentment is what? Great game. You can't lose nothing. Hallelujah. I missed it too the first time. You can't lose nothing. Being godly and content. Right. You can't lose nothing. You can't do nothing but that. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. I say it to you one more time because y'all didn't get it. Hallelujah. You can't lose nothing yeah. being godly and content. content. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. You gonna yeah. gain something. Hallelujah. Peace. Now, yeah. that's what he told me to say. Thank you, Lord. Bitch, I believe what he told me to say. Amen. I believe what he told me to say. Amen. Hallelujah. See, everything that we got on this side is temporary anyway, y'all. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it ain't going to last. It ain't going to last. It's just like something I want right now. You ever had an appetite for something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then when you got it, mm -hmm. it didn't satisfy you. Oh, yeah. 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 You went to the place, you went to that place yep. that, because it satisfied you before, yeah. right, right, right. And so you, you done set it up real good, say, I'm going, I know exactly where to go to get there. We were in Mississippi and Bishop, bless his heart, I love him. He said, and I didn't have no appetite and I haven't had one, but I eat anyway. Mm -hmm. I, I basically, because I know I need to eat. He's not going to kill me like that. <laughs> not with starvation. I'm going to eat. <laughs> but I haven't had that appetite like I had. And yesterday, I think, was really the first time I really said I wanted something. But we were there, and, and Bishop said, I feel like some, everybody had left. Everybody was gone. It was just me and him. And he said, I feel like something. He said, what was that they brought up? And we went out there to this Chinese place, and and they had, like, like buku wings. They they. They was like a fried rice wing type place. That, that's what they forte is. You can just get fried rice and, and just a myriad of wings. And you don't have so much to choose from. You really don't want to choose. You know, you just don't know what to choose. You mm -hmm. want to get a variety and they ain't playing that. But we got it. I remember Bishop sit down and he was eating his honey, honey barbecue one day. And he said, that's the taste that I was hungry for. Mm -hmm. That right there. When you content, no matter what you taste, mm -hmm. that'll be the taste that you Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. oh, Amen. Even when it don't, now, burnt is not my taste. If it's burnt, no. You can call it blackened, you can call it Cajun, all of that. But if it's burnt, that's not my taste. 
And I don't think God want me to be, well, yeah, he want me to be content with that too, yeah. He want me to be content with that, yeah. yeah Pull, spread the burn out, baby. <laughs> and keep it moving. Amen. But when you're content, you can even find something good Hallelujah. in the worst of situations. Right. Right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. When you're content. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Amen. And this is what God wants to share with us. I believe he wants to share with us today. That if I just endeavor to stay in the will of God, Contentment is going to come a little easier for me, okay? Because remember now, we're not, we're not born to be content. We're born to always want more, want more, want more. Uh, I watch my grandbabies on the regular, how they can have something. I, I, I watch the poor especially. She'll, <laughs> she'll have the pacifier in her mouth, but she want to put the, the uh, sippy cup of food in her mouth. And she's trying to keep the pacifier in her mouth and eat too. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Some of us like that too. Mm-hmm. We yeah. won't let this go to yeah. get this because we're not content. So I say this to you today, and this is what the Lord, I believe the Lord is saying. Godliness with contentment is great day. And Paul said it better. I've learned how to be content mm-hmm. in whatsoever situation. Because right. you may can't control the situation around mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. You can look at our world right now, we can't control it. My heart is heavy. But I'm not going to let my heart be so heavy to the point that I forget that God is still in control and that he's still good. Nor am I going to distance myself so much to where I can't pray for the situation to where, you know, it hasn't come nigh to me. You know, because we we, we quit that at. Well, God said in Psalm 91, it ain't going to come nigh to me, so I ain't worried about it. Well, first of all, he done called church. I'm talking to the church now. I'm not talking to just anybody. He didn't call us to pray for this world. Mm -hmm. The world ain't going to get no better until we start praying for Mm -hmm. it. And be for real, for real. Mm -hmm. That's That's like the big F and uh, little R. Yeah, for real, for real. Yeah. (laughs) When we be for real, for real, and start really having a a compassion for the world, whether it affects us personally or not, we'll see some things change. See, I begin to say right now, I I, see, we got to be reminded, can I remind the church of something? Mm -hmm. He said the power of death and life is in your tongue. Mm. When you going to open your mouth and yeah. say something? Yeah. Yeah. He said the redeemed of the Lord are the saints. Yes, so so if right. I'm redeemed, nobody yeah, tell you to go out there. See, this is what we want to do. We want to do things for our service mm-hmm. and for me and pleasing. So you quit the darn your mask, the darn your bit, go get you some uh, poster boards and write all this right here about this. But you won't get on your knees and pray to a holy God, which you have access to, yeah. that them folks, them folks doing what they do because they don't have access yeah. to God. Yeah. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not saying all of them, but come on, they're doing the best what? They, they can, can and what they know to do. Absolutely. We ought to do the best that we know to do. Mm. And the best that we can ever do is to what? Gird them with some prayer. Mm. Right? Oh, I'm talking too deep now, ain't I? Mm-hmm. But I didn't come to find out. I just shared with y'all. Prayers took me through something last week, y'all. Amen. Prayers took me through last Saturday. Mm-hmm. Well, I could have lost my mind. Mm-hmm. Could have been just a blubbering mess. And even those that were around me wanted to be there as well. But God had to be there, and prayer was there to strengthen us. To tell us that we still got a hope. Amen. Mama Goma, we still got a hope. Mm-hmm. And our hope is in Jesus. We got an eternal hope. And so they're doing the best they can. How about we help them out a little bit? Amen. The best we can do. And you know, we got the best. Amen. Amen. Somebody called us at Red Sea Baptist Church that we are weapons of mass destruction. Huh. Mm-hmm. Amen. Y'all forgot that? Right. I'm mm-hmm. just trying to remind y'all. We're weapons of mass destruction. We destroy all the enemies wild. Come on. Come on. Come on. When you gonna operate in that? Be content. No, I don't wanna be more powerful. You mm-hmm. are the most powerful thing there is. Mm-hmm. You ain't gotta be a mega church to be powerful. I said it on Facebook Live. Amen. Come on. Come on. God ain't never did nothing with no whole bunch of people. Right. Read your Bible. You read your Bible, nigga? Yeah, you have, cause you said something about Gideon the other day. He like the Marine Corps just looking for a few good ones. Mm. <laughs> Amen. Mm-hmm. A faithful few. 
And when you've been found faithful and content, God will use you. We stand all over the building, please. We're at that time right now to where God just spoke his word and went forth. And God is talking not just to his people, but he's talking to people. Because the Bible tells us, I believe it's somewhere along about 1 Peter 3rd chapter 9 verse, that God is not slack concerning his promises like most men consider slackness. But it's not his will that any should perish, but that all should come to everlasting life. God wanted every human being that's ever been born, that's being born and going to be born, he wanted them to be saved. He wanted them to come into a saving relationship with Jesus. I told you, because that's his promise. That's what he wants. But let's go and make this real plain. Everybody ain't going to accept Jesus. They're not, because he gives you free will to choose. He's not forcing nobody to come to him. He gives you free will. And so today he's saying, you need some contentment in your life. And in order to have some contentment, which I said before, is to be satisfied, to be pleased, is that right? Mm -hmm. To be happy and peaceful. You need to be in the will of God. And the only way you can be in the will of God is that you have Jesus as your Lord and Savior. That's the first step right there. I said Savior and Lord. We're not talking about accepting Jesus as your Savior as fire insurance to keep you from going to hell, that's just the first step. If that's your motivation, go for it. But we wants to be Lord over your life so that he can lead you and teach you and show you all the wonderful things that he has for you. The Bible tells us that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered into the hearts of men the things that God has prepared for those that love him. You have no idea the promise and how much love God has for you. So today, as we're gonna sing our song of invitation, because this is invitation to life right here. Some call it the altar call. You at home, I pray right now that you, God, have moved upon your heart that right where you are, let's pray together right now. And my prayer is that Jesus, the, the, the Holy Spirit, done touch your heart right now to where you're making Jesus your choice. And so, uh, uh, bishops like to lead you in a prayer of salvation, and I will follow suit with that, because sometimes people just don't know what to do. And so you can say this. The Bible tells us in Romans 10, 9, and 10, that if you confess with your, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. He said, because confession is made with the mouth, but salvation is through the heart. So why don't you, and then the Bible tells us also this right here before I go further. Say, anyone that calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Just that simple. It ain't hard stuff. So as we pray right now, why don't you make Jesus your choice? Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word today, Lord. But I pray right now as we come together with one accord in this sanctuary and uplifting that one or two right now that want to come to Jesus, that they will So, Lord Jesus, I confess that I am a sinner and that I need salvation. Yes, Lord, I've walked contrary to your ways. I've done my own thing, and I'm sorry for that. But I want to accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Jesus, come into my heart right now and be my Savior and my Lord. I repent of those sins. I won't go back. I'm turning my life over to you right now, Lord. Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would give me your Holy Ghost. He comes with Jesus, by the way. That I want him to come and dwell in me and lead and guide and direct me for the rest of my life. I'm going to follow you, Lord. And I thank you, Jesus, for accepting me as your child right now. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Real simple. Turning admitting who I am, believing on Jesus, and confessing him and following him. Real simple stuff. No, it's life-changing. 
It ain't got to be no earthquake, but it's life changing. Mm -hmm. Now, if you said that prayer today, I pray right now you can reach out and get in contact with us via the inbox. But if you've done that today, let us know about it, okay? But as we sing this hymn of uh, invitation, uh, we want to wait on anybody else that would do so as well. We offer Christ to you, oh my brother. We offer Christ to you, oh my sister. Yes, Lord, he will. He will give you grace.